Hey guys and girls and welcome to the latest episode of the Mind Body Health podcast with myself Dave Sheehan, high performance consultant, 25 years plus educating, motivating and inspiring people around the globe in regaining control of the mind, body and health area of one's life because it has such a catalytic impact on every other area of your life and that's why I'm so passionate about helping people and supporting people and advising people and pushing boundaries with people are regaining control of the mind body health area of one's life because it has such a huge impact and when you have self-love when you've self-esteem when you have proper confidence when you believe in yourself when you truly feel at one with yourself mentally and physically there are no boundaries there are no limitations we're here in episode eight Last seven episodes, I've been loving the feedback. Thank you guys for listening. If you haven't listened to any previous episodes, make sure you catch up on them. I'm loving the reviews, the ratings, the feedback, the messages. Keep them coming and especially keep sending me on questions you want me to address in podcast in future podcasts, topics you want me to discuss, and also importantly, guests you want me to have on. Today's podcast is all, but it's going to be a very important topic, a very impactful uh, bit of information or guidance or hopefully inspiration that I hope will help help you. I know it will if you implement it. Now, what I want to speak to you about on today's podcast is why being part of an excuse-consumed society prevents happiness. So why being part of an excuse-consumed society prevents happiness. Guys, we're in a society where excuses rule, where people make excuses for absolutely everything. And in you no, know, this year, for especially the last nine months, I've been pushing out to three particular hashtags across all my social media. One, take personal responsibility. Two, it's a choice. Three, no excuses. Because it's up to you to take personal responsibility. You do have a choice and there are no excuses for everything. I'm 25 plus years working with people all over the world, working on myself as well. So again, I'm a human just like you. So I, I have over the years have come up with enough of my own excuses, but I have yet to hear or see or even speak myself a valid excuse for anything. There's no valid excuses. They're excuses. They're reasons and excuses we put into our mind to make ourselves feel better and validate our inaction or an action that's not serving us best or why we're feeling fear and not doing something, why we're letting fear and any negative emotions stop us living life. No, we're humans. Life is precious. Life is there to live. Life is there to love. Life is there to experience. If you're not living life to the max, not living it fully each and every day and striving for continued happiness, you are not living. You are not living. If negative emotions consume your life, if fear consumes your life, fear controls. If these things are consuming your life, you're never, you're never going to experience proper happiness. Never. It's completely impossible. You're never going to experience fulfillment. You're never going to experience the success you can in any area of your life if you're consumed with negative emotions. To create happiness, to achieve goals, to achieve success, to feel fulfilled, to have fun life experience, one that you look back on without regrets, that you'll just look back on with a big smile on your face. You have, to create neg- you have to create positive energy, create positive emotions, live that way, counteract negative emotions, and most importantly, you have to not make excuses. Because the world we live in now is full of excuses. We make excuses why we're not in good health. We make excuses why we can't exercise. We make excuses why we've got fat. We make excuses why we've got health conditions. We make excuses why we've got pains all over our body. We make excuses why we get sick all the time. We get, make excuses for viruses and health conditions and diseases and all these kind of things and why poor me getting these things or maybe getting these things. We make excuses why we're fearful of living our life. We make excuses why we aren't taking action to work towards goals we say that we want. We make excuses for why we listen to certain people. We make excuses for why we don't have a positive mindset. We make excuses why we don't go to bed early and get a good quality sleep. We make excuses why we don't drink enough water. We make excuses, we make excuses, we make excuses. There's so many. It goes on and on and on because so many people, far too many lives are consumed with excuses. That's why I'm saying, you know, why being part of an excuse consumed society, because if you are a person who is doing the things that I'm saying, you're part of that. You're allowing your own life to be negatively impacted by society and the conditioning it's created and the kind of brainwashing of staying in your own box, don't ask questions, stay in your own lane. You know, it's okay to not do things 
excuses, excuses, excuses. Am I getting that point in yet? How many times have I said the word excuse so far? It's bloody loads. Um, so what you need to do is all that matters in life. Look, until the day your heart stops ticking and your lungs stop taking in oxygen, you need to strive towards happiness. And I'm sure it's what you want, right? Like if I ask you right this second directly to you, what do you want out of life? What do you want to experience? What it, in your, as you take your last breath and you reflect on your life, what is it you want to look back on? Is it a life that's filled with happiness, wonderful memories, wonderful life experiences, a journey where, yes, it had its challenges, yes, it had its obstacles, yes, it had dark times, but the good times far overrode the bad, the bad challenging dark times. Is that not the life you want? Do you not want to be able to look back at fun times at family and friends? Do you not want to look back on wonderful life experiences, whether it be traveling, whether it be making stuff, whether it be buying stuff, whether you're materialistic, whether it's donating to charities, setting up foundations, going working with um, poor or under pre underprivileged people. It's like for me, it's something I'm definitely going to do in the near future whenever we get allowed. You know, go do some work in Africa, which I've always wanted to do, to work with people, building schools, educating them, inspiring them a little bit, all that kind of stuff. That's something I want to do. And it's something I'm going to tick the box on whenever it becomes possible. Because again, that'll be part of developing happiness for me. Every single day I'm striving for happiness. Every single day I will get hundreds and hundreds of excuses. Every time I go to do something, I will have an excuse not to do it. That's normal. We're humans. We're so we're over kind to ourselves. Well, we think we're being kind to ourselves. We're not being kind to ourselves. We're sabotaging our lives by letting excuses and negative emotions determine or actions and inaction, because inaction is an action in itself. It's stopping you from doing something. Just like an action can be one that doesn't serve your life, as well as there's actions that do serve your life. So we need to be every single day mindful of the fact of what is it I want to do in my life? What do I want my life to look like? Again, have this vision always of what you want your life to look like. And every single day should be about striving towards it. You know, never be satisfied, be content, be grateful. It's important to be content and grateful for having so much in your life because so many of us have a lot in our lives to be grateful for and never lose sight of that. I'm always stressing the point of pausing frequently and acknowledging what you got to be grateful for. But that doesn't mean you have to be satisfied with the way your life is. You should never be satisfied and not in a greedy or selfish way, but never be satisfied in that we at a cellular level are growing or dying. Now, if you go to a satisfied mentality and being content of where you are and what you have and what you're experiencing and the person you are, you're not going to grow. You're going to go back. You're going to die. So we have to strive to become better people, to have better experiences, to make a bigger impact on others, to achieve our goals. Again, experience happiness. This is what life's about. We need to work towards happiness. And excuses are going to stop you. So I want you to stop making excuses. Every time you go to do something or not do something, ask yourself, am I making an excuse now to stop me from going closer, moving closer to happiness, go, moving closer to my goals, moving closer to fulfillment, moving closer to, fulfill, uh, to success, moving closer to the fun, vibrant and happy life that I know that I want? Ask yourself that question. Stop making excuses. Actually, it'd be great to know how many times I say the word excuses in this because I must have hit 100 already. Anyone want to give me a count? Feel free to shoot me a message. So break free of society's conditioning. You can be whoever you want to be. You can experience a life that you want on your terms, not what society or other people tell you. Don't be limited by what other people tell you is possible. Anything's possible. Look at all the amazing things that people have done in life, but it's only a small percentage of people in the history that we know of that have done amazing things that have changed people's lives forever, that have changed society forever. You, you can even look at that in both an, in a negative sense and a disastrous and a crimes against humanity sense, as well as look at where it's enriched and improved lives and given people amazing tools and resources and possibilities to have wonderful lives. You know, it's like technology. Technology is amazing in the power it can give us and the way it can enrich our lives, but also technology is so disastrous in its ability and its power in the wrong hands to be used for the wrong things. We see lots of evidence of that. That's another podcast. Um, so, you know, it's important that we live the life we want. It's important that we live towards happiness. Guys, happiness is the end game. It should be all you strive for all your waking time. You know, you want to feel happy. I want to feel happy. What do I want to not feel happy for? 
Life's about living. Life's about loving life. It's about having happiness, having wonderful people in your life, having like-minded people in your life, having great experiences, having fun, having laughter, all the things that makes us human. And it's important that we never lose sight of that. And it's important, again, that we don't let things or people stop us from getting what we want. This is where excuses come in. When other people are telling us not to do something and then we validate it in our head by not doing it, by making some excuse or reason, we're not serving ourselves. It's not really impacting their lives. And most of, of the time when people are stopping you doing stuff, it's not in your interest, especially if it's in terms of you growing yourself, taking at inverted commas chance or risk. They're not doing it because they, they're trying to prevent you from do something disastrous. They're doing it because you're making them feel like shit because they're not doing it in their lives. If you look at 99.9% of people who are trying to put you off track, they're feeling bad about themselves. You're making them feel bad about themselves because you're the one going out to trying to find happiness, trying to find success, trying to find fulfillment, taking steps to make that happen. They're not. They're sitting under arse making excuses day in, day out. They're living mediocre lives. They're literally dying instead of growing. And you make them feel bad. So by them taking you down and bringing you back into their circle and their vibe and their energy, they're taking away what's hurting them psychologically. We're, remember, we're very complex in that even though we should be championing and pushing on and supporting the people who we supposedly care about and love, a lot of time we don't do that. You know, to be very self-aware and very strong-minded to do what is human versus doing what's nearly instinctive you know, and self-preserving, which is crazy. It's like the fight or flight kind of idea. People will do that, and the closest to you will often do it unless they're of sound, sound mind and are very self-aware. We should be pushing each other on. This is why being around like-minded people who do that is so energizing and so empowering. These people don't make excuses. Look at people who achieve anything in their life, top athletes, top business people, top um, people who care about the planet, top people who care about animal agriculture, all that kind of side of things, top people who care about anything that matters in life, equality, you know, injustice, freedoms. They care about it. They do everything they can. They don't make excuses. Look at the people who've made a difference in history. There's not that many of them. Think about it. If you were to name 50 people who changed history, you probably would struggle to find 50. And you have to think back over hundreds and hundreds of years. How many trillions and trillions and trillions of people have lived in that time? This is because majority of people make excuses. They're not passionate enough about what they want to do. They don't create the life that they want. They don't take the steps to move towards happiness. They don't take action. They don't plan. They don't organize. As I said, they don't take action. And ultimately, they make excuses. That's it. If your life right now is not what you want it to be, you're making too many excuses. If you've been on a road recently, a journey where you're consistently moving close to happiness, I applaud you. I'm delighted for you. You're obviously making less excuses. But if you're in a period of your life where you're staying the same or even worsening, you're just making excuses because the worst things can happen. And believe me, I have had some seriously dark times in my life, seriously challenging times in my life, emotionally, mentally, vibrationally, every way. 2020 has been a massive year for this world for me personally, as well as for everyone around the world or most people around the world anyway, by a couple of percent. Not making excuses is the only reason I've climbed out of those holes. The only reason I've got to lightness away from that darkness, not making excuses. It's the only way. Every day striving towards getting better, better as a person, better as a human, better as a father, better as a son, better as a brother, better as a friend, better as a coach. Every day striving to be better. As a human on this planet, every day striving to be better. I care passionately about humanitarian issues and things that are injo any injustice I see in the world. Eight and I see this wrong in the world. I'm passionate about pushing towards it. I could sit in my ass and do nothing about it. Just think about it, not do anything about it. But that's just an excuse because we all can have an impact. One person can have an impact because one person can become five, 10, 100,000, 100,000, a million, and so on. That's how every movement starts. You know, this is where whether you want to make impact in your life or other people's lives, it starts with you. It's like with the way I've worked for over 25 years with thousands and thousands of people around the world. And thankfully, I've made a positive impact on quite a large amount of them, both they've told me directly or messages or so on. And, you know, I was able to do that because I didn't make excuses to why I couldn't do it. When I first became aware of online and its power, I'd make excuses. Oh, I couldn't learn that. I wouldn't know how to do that. I went and learned it and did it. And created a platform and grew and grew and was consistent and patient. Same with off, when I've worked offline, any goal I've had in my life, I've been patient, I've been consistent. It's too easy to do nothing. It's too easy to live on by excuses. You know, on most people's headstones, it should nearly have, um, at the end of their days, you know, consumed with regret. 
made excuses throughout their life. Because most people, that's how they go to their grave. And it's sad. It's upsetting. It's terrible. But at the end of the day, each person themselves needs to take personal responsibility, needs to realize it's a choice how you live your life. It's a choice every decision you make. It's a, dis- it's a choice every action you take or do not take. It's all a choice. So whether you're living an amazing, fulfilling, happy life, or you're living a life that does not fulfill you, does not fill you with happiness, you're self-sabotaging all the time. It's a choice. And the big difference is excuses. So no excuses. So I want you to stop living in an excuse-consumed society because this prevents happiness. I can guarantee you that. You know that yourself. You know that yourself within you. Okay. So I want you now to stop making excuses. You will make them in your head before you go to do anything, small things, big things, whatever. But I want you to start smashing them by having a self-talk. And this is where your mindset comes in. Remember, your mind's a control tower. So when you get that thought that's filled with excuse, you need to battle it back and smash it with a sledgehammer with a positive action step that you're going to take and reaffirming what you're aiming for, what you're striving for, and why you're doing it. Because where it's a thought that's been fueled by other people's words, where it's a thought that's fueled by your own laziness or wanting to not get out of your comfort zone or whatever reason or conditioning or society conditioning or environmental conditioning or the way you grew up or whatever the hell, I want you to smash it with a big bloody sledgehammer and move on and take action, make decisions that serve your life, to serve your goals. And even if you go the wrong road someday or take the wrong step, who cares? Start again, change the goal, adjust the goal, adjust the steps, whatever. Main thing is keep striving for happiness. We all want happiness. I want happiness for you. That's why I do things like the Mind Body Health podcast, because I want to share messages I hope will impact you positively. I want my own life to be happy and I strive every day for it. But a huge part of my happiness comes from you experiencing happiness, fulfillment and success in your life, because I care, care about you. I care about humans. I care about the planet. I care about people. I care about all beings animals, humans, a whole lot. And any impact, positive impact I can have, my life is dedicated to it. It has been for 25 years, every waking second, and it will continue until my last breath. And I will go to permanent sleep or whatever happens after my final breath on earth. I will go there with a smile on my face with very little regret. We'll all have some regrets, but it, mine will be very minimal. And I will know I will have pulled out all the stops to live a happy life. And I will know that I at minimal times use excuse because no one's perfect. I will use excuses sometimes. I have used excuses in the past, but I'm self-aware enough to identify when I'm doing it. And that's what you need to become, become more self-aware. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, episode eight, I think it is, of the My Body Health podcast, why being part of an excuse-consumed society prevents happiness. I'd love to get your feedback. If you're watching Apple or listening to Apple iTunes, please give this a review and a rating. If you're watching the video version on YouTube or any video platform, please give it a like, please subscribe, give a comment, anything. Share this message out there far and wide. Help me get this message out to people. They need it. We all need it. We all need to be educated. We all need to be motivated. We all need to be inspired. That's always been my tagline. That's what I stand for. This is Dave Sheen here, the Mind Body Health Podcast. Thank you for tuning in and look forward to you tuning in next time.